What's up YouTube? I'm Z and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Uh, we're back to MO3. Am I saying that right? It's MO3, right? Not like... I think it's MO3. <laughs> um, man, I've really enjoyed the music I've checked out from him so far. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know moving forward the way that I'm going to be choosing what to do next because obviously there's all sorts of random requests. Um, whichever requests are liked the most or replied to the most, those are the ones that I'm going to try and do next. So if you go into the comments and you see uh, a comment that you agree with, that you also want to see me react to, then like it, reply to it. If I see that, then I'll make sure that that's the next one that I do. All right. So we got a long time coming. Um, uh, we're going to check it out right now. Like, it's hard for me to find a place to pause because, like, the flow that he's coming on this song, like, with, he's, I don't know, it's like, it's, it, it, like, sucks you in and then it doesn't let go. Like, it's so catchy and he's just doing it so effortlessly. Um, I just pulled it back a little bit. Let's listen oh, to some of that again. Murder one, it won't get solved. Go make me wipe the and, like, <laughs> murder one, it won't get solved. Like, that's... That's an aggressive line. Oh, slap. Oh, see, some blow, some blow. I'm trying to whip it till it go. I got, the, I got the game from my old head. But he ain't tell me about the snow. He ain't tell me about oh, the snow. He only told me about the rain. The rain. He, he ain't tell me niggas cold. Niggas cold. My partner tried to cross me out. What? For a ratchet ass hoe. That's a shirt. That was a nice setup. So he said, uh, I got the game from my old head, but he didn't tell me about the snow. He only told me about the rain. He didn't tell me, uh, you know, people get cold. So like the cold turns rain into snow. That was a really nice setup there. Niggas cold. Niggas cold. My partner tried to cross me out. What? For a ratchet ass hoe. That's a shame, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was down on my dick. I was so broke I couldn't fix. I was so broke yeah. I couldn't fix. Mm -hmm. Nothing that hoe was shit. And niggas acting like bitches. It's been Man, this guy just like humming on his chorus is so good yeah 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 it's been a long time coming long time coming but i know Ooh, the way he started that second verse um man i like that i like the way he sung that chorus too like he was really stretching out things and like he's doing this thing on this where like he's going past the part where the beat hits and then he's like ending his delivery a little bit delayed on that um and it's happening too consistently to make it seem like he's doing it by mistake or it's not on purpose right so it's a very um 
it's a very cool thing when artists have enough knowledge on the beat and where the beat is supposed to land and how you can maybe be ahead of it or behind it a little bit. Um, and it just gives you a slightly different feel, uh, you know, on on the beat, just just making those minor tweaks. Um, so I was really feeling that in this and then he's doing it in the in the verse a little bit as well. Remember when niggas ain't like they ain't what? Then they treat me like a lady. They treat me like they a say lady. I'm preaching like the red, like the red. A nigga sneak me, it get deadly. Mm. Mm. I bring demons to his sex. Hope he ready. The devil eagle leave him headless. Ooh. I talk that shit that niggas wanna hear. Hill. I live a life for niggas in the field. Real. How about a chopper? Keep it at the crib. Catch a nigga lacking off of me, get killed. What? How do I miss it for a yada real? Bitches trying to rape me, wanna have my kid. Wanna have my daddy hate me, say that he gon' say that he, he jumped in that water, don't know how to swim. I'm still the same nigga used to be on that block. But it's been a little minute, they ain't seen him in the spot. Like these little mm. bitty bitches trying to fuck on me now. I'm gonna hangin' out the window when I pull up in the drop. I like the flow switch. We're going to pull it back to where he switched. Um, he's kind of going into that slightly faster um, delivery on this next part. I really like that switch up. Right here. Damn. And like, oh man, ending the verse like that and then coming in with the humming for the chorus was just perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I was down on my dick. I was so broke, I couldn't fix. I was so broke, I couldn't fix. Nothing that hoe was shit. And niggas acting like bitches. It's been a long time coming. This beat was crazy too. But I know to keep my gun. Keep my gun, keep my gun. Where I come from, where I come from, where I come from, where I come from. It's been a long time coming. Long time. Long time coming. But I know to keep my gun. Keep my gun, to keep my gun. Where I come from, where I come from, where I come from. My strap, I'ma keep that. Niggas talking flat behind my back. We gon' sweep that. Yeah. Mm. You gotta feel my pain. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, rest in peace. This must be uh maybe one of his friends or something. Um man. Yeah, he's so talented. He was so talented. It's disappointing, you know, like, you know, it's part of what comes with this life, unfortunately. Um, you know, and we can, we can glorify it or we can, you know, judge it or we can observe it from a distance, whatever it may be. Uh, but the reality is that, you know, like them... Like these artists opening up their their life and this aspect of their life for us is entertainment, but for them it's reality and it's it, it's hard because we're we're in a day and age where it's hard for people as fans to separate those two things, and we get so caught up and we forget that these are human beings and people that are going through the situation. And unfortunately, a lot of this type of lifestyle ends poorly. You you know we've all heard the cliche like sayings like there's only two places you go in this situation you're either going to jail or you're going to go in the ground right but cliches exist because they're unfortunately more often true right so that's sad man i mean sad that this song is dedicated to someone that he's lost but sad that he himself is not around anymore as well it's just unfortunate that a lot of this stuff happens man uh, let me know what you guys think i should be doing next if you're still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.